Hello everyone, Joey Riz here coming to you with another video. And today I guess you can consider this the follow-up uh, to my previous Nexus 5X or Nexus 6P charging video where we were trying to figure out which charges would charge that phone rapidly, the ones that you've already had. But since then, uh, the game has gotten a little bit better. Uh, we now have new entries into uh, Nexus uh, 6P, Nexus 5X charging, meaning USB Type-C chargers. We now have new adapters, new car chargers, and new wall chargers that all seem to say that they can charge these things rapidly, meaning that 3 amp out that we need. Now, granted that this is only for phones with the USB Type-C, we're talking about the new uh, Windows Phone 950, 950XL, um, but not the not the laptops because the laptops now like the Pixel or the new MacBook they can, they need a high high watt charger to charge so we're not considering that we're still just working on the phones as you can see in front of me I have a few uh, choices and we're going to go through them right now let's take a look okay one of the first charges we're going to take a look at even though it looks like two charges is really only one. Uh, you'd be hard pressed to tell the difference between these two. Um, on the left, we have the original Nexus 6P charger from Huawei. You see that there? It says Huawei. I don't know if we can get that on camera. There we go. That is Huawei. This one right here was sent in by someone who saw my other video. I believe the company's name pronounced Sonic. Uh, they did their best to replicate the next 6P charger completely. Obviously they left a little difference. Obviously this little divot is not there on this one. Just has had a little bit of difference, but as you can see here, Sonic, well, I'll flip it over for you. Sonic, and on here it looks identical. Like the everything else except for that divot, this charger is completely identical. Um, and what's nice is that the actual charging rates are pretty similar. Um, on the Nexus 6P uh, original charging uh, unit, uh, I'll put it up there uh, for you on, on the screen. I was able to get 2950 out of that one. 2950 milliamp hour charging rate out of that, which is spectacular. That was when it was at around 20%. So I went apples to apples and I charged this one the same exact way. Um, this one uh, I was able to get, I believe, uh, around 2,600 milliamp hours out of, which I'll also put up on the screen, which is very good and very stand up. It might not match this one exactly, but this one does a very good job. And what's even greater is that it comes with a really nice cable. It comes with uh, this nice USB Type-C cable, and it's nice and thick, feels sturdy, and it, it works spectacular. Um, I haven't had any complaints. I've been using it for the last couple weeks. It's charged my phone pretty much as rapidly as this one is. Even if I couldn't get it on the Ampere to show off as high, it really has not been a problem. Um, I also took, a, took the time to uh, take a look at the original... Nexus 5X charger, which is made by LG, obviously. Now this one, this charger, uh, it also went around that 25, 2600 range when using on 6P, um, and it worked fine. It worked great. It just was not quite to the level of this original 6P charger, which right around the level of this new Sonic charger, uh, which I really, really like. And uh, I'll throw the I'll throw the link up there to Amazon where I got it from. Um, and it was really, really nice. Uh, there was no complaints, um, but you should have just a fine time with any of them. I thought it'd be a good idea to check out the Blitzwolf car charger in its natural environment, the car. Here you go, here's the new unit. Uh, says Blitzwolf right there, it's a regular sized unit. Now, on the bottom, on top, it does have an additional port to charge additional device. And you see there, it does have a little LED indicator. Now, let's go plug this in. As you can see, LED indicator does come on. Let's check out the other end, the business end of this device, which would be the USB Type-C end. It does say Blitzwolf again. 
there we have the USB Type-C connector. And uh, you, what you notice here is this right here uh, is starting to come off. Now, that just looks like the glue from the casing is coming off. It doesn't hurt the device any, but I did notice that, and it is like a little bit issue that oh, I'm going to have the glue back. But let's check out this on the device, actually. I have Nexus 5X, USB Type-C. I got my Ampere program running. Now this is at 80, it was at 85%, so we're not gonna get the full on juice of this, but check it out. It's charging at 907 milliamp hours because like I said, it's, it's running at a higher rate. But you will see it does show charging rapidly because it is. This is a rapid charger. I've, I've had this charger go up to about 2400 milliamp hours, uh, which I will post a picture of. Let's see here. Now, like I said, it's still 970, but if I unplug this, now I'm going to plug in just another port here to the upper port. Now this, I know, is not going to charge very quick. Two hundred ten. This does not give any sort of charge to any device. It it maxes out at about five hundred milliamp hours. It's just meant as if you need to charge another device, you can. If you do not have another charger, other than that, it's a pretty good unit. Now this tiny thing uh, might not look like much, but it's a pretty interesting product. Um, I got it from Alki, which has been one of my favorite. Uh, go to battery and cable and any kind of uh, having to do any device charging supplier for a long time. I've used their car chargers, I've used their cables, and they've always been really top notch. But this is really interesting because let's put it this way: we all know uh, people, we all know people with iPhones, like because and they always have chargers with them because iPhones, their charger, their they, their batteries just don't last. So you always know somebody with an iPhone somewhere, if you're in a big city or whatever, they definitely have a charger with them, which is where this little guy comes in. Um, now, if I happen to have my 6P out with me and I'm just taking a whole bunch of pictures and I'm just using the crap out of it, um, I, just, I just happen to start running low on battery. I can go to a place and ask, you know, you ask the bartender or you ask like somebody there if they have an iPhone charger, they most certainly will. Like I said, this is where this guy comes in. Right here, I don't know if you guys can see, that right there is a lightning port, which then converts into USB to Type-C. Now, I, I'll put up the graphic up there that uh, where it does not charge fast. It doesn't charge fast at all. Um, I think the most I ever got was about a thousand milliamp hour charging rate, uh, but it was enough to get my thing charged in a pinch. That's why I, I'm kind of promoting this thing because if you just need to keep this with you, if you don't want to carry a battery pack with you and you know you're going to be around, you, 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 people always have iPhone chargers, you can keep this with you. And if you need to in a pinch, you can definitely charge your device. It shows charging rapidly because I don't think it has the proper um, pull-up pull -up resistor in here to show the real rate. But it will charge at about 1,000 milliamp hours. You don't have to worry about breaking anything, and it will just work. Now, one of the last ones we're going to look at is a micro USB to USB Type C converter. Now, these are going to probably be the most common amongst Android users because we have a ton. And why I mean a ton? I mean a very many of these chargers lying around. Micro USB has been the standard for everyone, and now USB to USB Type C, we need a you know, we don't want to get rid of all the charges, which is where this little guy comes in. Like I said, micro USB, USB-C. And uh, like the same as with the, the uh, Lightning 2 USB Type-C connector, this guy also charges about a thousand amp hours like max. And if you're just sitting around your house or, or you, if you need a charge when you're out really quick, it's a great option. Um, 
And other than that, like, it does have the proper pull up resistor, which means it's going to show the proper rate on the lock screen, which you really have nothing to worry about. And this is, this is one I can recommend pretty well because I've been using it constantly since I've gotten my 6P and my 5X. Again, uh, now I said USB Type-C is be going to become over the next couple of years, and not really the next year, uh, much more ubiquitous. So we should have even more of an idea of what's going to be able to charge these devices. But until then, uh, we're going to have to deal with this. And right now we have a few really good options, actually. And I'm excited for the future. If you guys like this video, please comment, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I really would like to see your comments down below. Anything you'd like to see in the next videos, anything you'd like me to talk about, uh, please let me know. And that's it. Until next one. Later.